Hey guys, welcome back to Civilization VI Rise and Fall as Robert the Bruce intermittent off-camera gameplay. A casual gameplay that I'm doing off-camera here. Guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And to those who are frequent visitors, I'd like to encourage both of you to click on that watermark in the bottom right-hand corner so you guys can continue to get Civilization VI gameplay. Thank you for my current subscribers for all your help. Wanted to bring you guys in because this is going to be interesting. It's not going to be a matter of if we'll lose units. The question is going to be how many. Now, what I learned earlier was that Gilgamesh was going after Lisbon. And I wasn't overly concerned with it at the time. But I did want to go ahead and start walls, which is what you see here. I also have Pingala here to start a campus. But as you can see, I'm also making a settler to go ahead and take this city that I still want. May have to bring this uh, this unit over, at least to right about there. We have um, his scout over here keeping an eye on our builder. So we're going to go ahead and link these guys up so that the scout doesn't take the unit. And I'm also going to go for this iron because we're going to need those swordsmen ASAP, which is 16 turns. So this means that I'm probably also going to have to buy units. Now, the good news is we're four turns away from political philosophy, which will allow us to make some changes to our um, to our policies. Now, this guy can swing this way, and this guy is definitely going to go after the warrior. So what I can do is I'm going to drop the warrior back one here, post him up. I'm going to go ahead and lay into this cart here. I'm going to just entirely ignore the warrior because he is of no particular consequence. These carts are terribly dangerous. So I really want to focus on those guys. And I'm trying to find the safest, safest moves to spare as many units as we can save. So at the moment... I'm going to see what he's going to do so I can determine what unit I'm going to need to purchase. Um, probably a Spearman. I won't purchase him here, obviously, because it's uh, not able to get it here in the city. Uh, because of the, as it says here, too many units in the same class in this location. That's fine, because we can still buy him here in Sterling. See? Right here. <laughs> so... Very, very tricky. Now, let's see what he's going to do. He's definitely probably going to be going for this archer here. This guy might make a move for this warrior. This warrior is going to come in and probably replace one of these archers. Because one of these archers is definitely going to be going down. So, if I didn't mention it a minute ago, I had my scout up here. And I saw that he had two additional carts in this area earlier in the game, you know, before the scout made it all the way over to here when he was going after Lisbon. So let's cross our fingers <laughs> and see how ugly it's going to get. Here we go. Okay, he's going after the warrior. The warrior is on the mountain and somewhat secure. Okay, I wanted to pull this archer in instead of bring this guy up this way. Because I want the city to be kind of a target as well. Alright, so we didn't lose the archer, but we probably may. Alright, now good. We have um, the capability of making a cart. I'm going to ignore the scout. There's really not much he can really do. There's nothing he can pillage here because everything or nothing here has been worked. Alright, so we're going to post this warrior up to heal. We're going to go ahead and... I'm going to go for this cart right here because it's the weakest. And this guy could kill himself on the warrior. So I'm going to go ahead and go for this cart. We're probably going to lose this archer. So I'm going to pull the archer here. And then I'm going to go for this cart. Okay. This guy is probably going to go for this archer right here. He's the weakest. I'm going to see if I can move the warrior. I'm going to go ahead and move this warrior to here. Right? Let's go ahead and start working you over this way. And I'll just let the scout light go down in here, I guess. Just to keep him from having to be moved. Okay. Let's see. 
So we're going to go ahead and shoot this cart just to do some damage. All right. Now, that looks good, but <laughs> these carts are really, really dangerous. Now, I did my best to protect this archer is what the whole plan was really is to keep him kind of protected. So we're going to see if that's going to pay off. So let's go ahead and go. I know currency would be naturally where I would go, but we're going to go for um, iron working because we're really in a really dangerous situation up here. All right. Now, I'm not in a rush to buy another unit yet because I want to see who we're going to lose first. I know I'm still working on this settler because I do want this spot right here. So I'm not giving up on that. Um, now, you're probably saying, well, why don't you just take Lisbon or liberate it? I, I really don't want Lisbon, although the turtles would be nice. We could go after Uruk or Uruk, but I really not interested in that city, not interested in his city down here either. I kind of like our area here and I like our area up here. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going to happen here. We're in a dark age. The warrior should survive that. Okay. He barely did. He did his job. Looks like one of his uh, carts just got promoted. Let's get our builder down here. See, his scout just kind of gave up on us. Because uh, I guarded the, the builder. So... Our warrior here is going to have to remain on this hill. He can't do anything. We're going to definitely go after this cart. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this archer here. <clears throat> I'm going to bring the warrior to here. All right. Because he's just, he's going to be hurt no matter what I do. But I'm still going to go ahead and just make the move here. Okay? And then I'm going to go for this cart. Because he's going to have more power. And what I'm trying to do is get him to run away from being too damaged. Now the warrior, or the archer can stand up to the warrior. He can't stand up to the cart. Alright? So let's see. All right, we got a promotion on this guy, which is great. He should be safe. The warrior, not so much. And the archer, not so much. Because I think what he's going to do is he's going to probably go for the archer. I'm hoping this cart is going to run away. Let's see what happens. Okay, he's going to go for the warrior on the hill, which is going to put some serious damage on the warrior. He's going to go after the archer with the warrior. That's fine. That's what we wanted. Okay? That's what we wanted. That's exactly what we wanted. We're not out of the woods, though. All right. So, this guy gets a promotion, but I can step him I can step him right here. Promote. Right? Step this guy back one. All right? And let him heal. And we're going to go ahead and post up. And we're going to work that mine. Let's go ahead and work the mine. And that's going to give us more, uh, a boost more towards iron working. Okay, now our archer. <clears throat> excuse me, guys. I'm going to go for this cart right here. Instead of this guy. Because I need this cart to go away entirely. So that he's no threat to this archer. So let's go ahead and go for this cart. Right? Good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cut the angle off from this cart by moving the archer here. And then I'm going to go for this, for, I'm sorry. And now I'm going to go for, uh, I'm trying to debate. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take out the cart. <laughs> what am I doing here? All right, so hopefully, okay, that's going to take the cart out. Now, that means that the archer, this archer still has a chance against the warrior, although he is promoted once. But the archer is also promoted, so he might survive this. Let's see. If we can pull this off, this is going to be quite a feat. All right, so let's see if our 
strategy paid off. Let's see if we're going to be able to salvage our guys. Okay, he's going after the ar he's going after the um, archer, which is not surprising. Okay, great. Oh wow, I thought for sure that warrior was going to go after the archer and just eliminate him. Wow. Okay, we got super, super, super lucky. Super lucky on that one. Okay, so we got some error score. And that means that I'm going to bring this guy in one here for extra healing. Okay, we're definitely going to go ahead and take out that war cart, without a doubt. Now, I thought about moving this archer to this hill. But I don't think it's going to be worth it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy. Wait a minute. First, let's get our um, settler going that way. And I'm going to protect the settler with this archer here. Because I think we're, I think what we have here will be enough. Now, what we're going to do with this guy is we're going to drop him back one and shoot the warrior. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, he's going to get a promotion, and I want to try to move this guy, well, I was going to, I can't do the swap -a -roo, so what I'm going to do is swap him with this guy. Now, he can come all the way here and get this archer, that's the only thing, the, the idea here is to try to salvage as many units as we can, okay? And we're going to want him to stay right where he is and let him heal up. Actually, I want to move him here. Because that way he can maximize his healing within the city boundary. I'm not worried about this slinger. But I will go ahead and pop him just to hopefully get him to run away. This cart is going to be a problem. Um, I would have preferred to maybe have this archer come down here. But I need to protect my settler. This is some super, super risky stuff that I'm doing here right now. Super risky so we have um, we have our political philosophy, and we I don't want to go for mysticism right now because I kind of want to use that as a backup for when I need to like do like an upgrade or something. So let's go ahead and I'm going to okay he's already he's out of moves because that's a hill. All right, so let's go ahead and choose our policy, and I'm going to go ahead and get. Drama and poetry. Okay. Alright, so in our main city, probably going to need to make a heavy cart. Okay. And down here, same thing. Heavy cart. I know it's eight turns, but it's, it's eight turns. Matter of fact... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just buy a cart here. That'll give us three total. Okay. Because this guy down here is going to be a problem against our little warrior guy here. We got six more turns until we get um, the ability to upgrade to swordsman. All right, so we're going to change governments now. And I'm going to go with oligarchy. And we're going to get some envoys going here. We're going to get, we're going to leave, actually we're going to change this to, okay, so light cavalry units, we're going to leave that there. Money-wise, I think I, I do have a trade route going. So let's go ahead and get some money going. Now we're in a dark age, so we could use these, but the thing is you have to give up one thing to have another. I'm not going to make any settlers right now, so we could technically use isolationism, but I'm not going to go for that. Let's see, Twilight Valor. All units are plus five combat strength. Cannot heal outside your territory. Okay, that could be a problem. Okay, do I want that? I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I don't think that's going to be good. All right, so let's go ahead and confirm these policies. And we're going to get some war score. War score. Some error score. All right, now. Okay. Okay. So, this cart could either go for the archer, run away, or actually go for the city. So, let's see what he's going to do. If he goes for the archer, there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Now, that cart right there is going to be a problem. 
All right, he did go for the archer, and now we're going to lose the archer. There's just no way around it. There was just nothing we could do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the cart to here because the warrior can take one more hit. The good thing is the slinger is running away, which is what we really wanted him to do. I'm going to leave the cart there. Uh, I hate losing that archer, but it, it just... it. It just had to happen. I mean, that was, I mean, the worst case scenario is we could have lost a whole ton of, of uh, potential units. So losing one archer is not a big deal. All right. So we're going to go ahead and leave him there. We're going to leave him here too to heal. All right. We're going to let the warrior heal as well. And we're going to let this warrior heal. Okay. The archer is going to protect the, uh, the settler. And the cart, you're going to just skip a turn here. All right, so he's going to go for the archer. I don't think he can kill the archer. I don't think he can, but it's possible. He's weak, so I would hope that he would run away, but he might just be on his last death throws, and he may just give up. Let's see. Okay, good. That was the best possible scenario, because that means that... We'll go ahead and promote the archer, okay? That means that we can shoot here and then attack with the warrior if we want to, okay? All right, good. He's dead, so that's perfect. All right? The cart, we're going to move to here to kind of uh, act as our flanking. And our set to lore is going to go here to the city, to the city location. And we'll have the, the archer flank. All right? So let's go ahead and do our next turn. Yeah, we need some amenities, so I might have to maybe think about those olives up there or this amber here. Money is uh, okay. I mean, we had to get we had to buy that cart. There was just no way around it. So let's go ahead and do our next turn. The cart so is relatively equivalent to this to this cart. <clears throat> okay, they're gonna go after the warrior. He's gonna get a promotion. We're going to move him out of the way. <clears throat> oh, wow. He actually survived it. So, we're going to move him out of the way. Okay. Whoops. Well, that's fine. And we're going to move the cart right here. And let the cart block the warrior. It's possible the scout could move in for the to the um, warrior. I don't think he will. Uh, we're going to move you here for healing. All right. I'm, not, I'm just going to take a little peek right here. Okay, we're good. I'm going to move you back in the city. And you are going to continue to flank the um, the scout. Make sure that... Um, are they at war? Genghis Khan, he's getting, he's getting feisty. It's not showing that he's going against anybody. I guess I could have maybe reached out. Let's reach out to Genghis here and see if we can... Okay, so he's good with a friendship. We're too early in the game to go for an alliance right now, so we can't do that, but we'll try to stay friendly with him. Being friendly with him right now is not going to change really anything. I mean, he could just turn on a dime and come after us. I've not played against Genghis Khan, so I don't know how aggressive he is. I know, as we mentioned in the previous game, that um, we most certainly knew that Genghis was going to be a threat. All right, let's cross our fingers and see what happens here. I'm totally fine with them both going for the cart. We'll let the warrior heal up. And in two turns, we can turn him into a swordsman. We turn these guys into swordsmen. Let's see what's going to happen. All right, so we're going to move you here. Let's go ahead and turn. I'm really curious what this scout is going to do. I'm not worried about the scout, but I'm curious to see what he's going to do. Obviously, the slinger in this cart could potentially go after the heavy chariot. He can reach this warrior. But I had no other I had no other option. Let's see what he's going to do. Okay, good. I'm fine with the cart taking the damage. I'm actually fine if we lose the cart. I don't think we will, but I'm okay with him taking that damage. That's fine. You can see the scout is coming in. That's fine. The chariot should be able to take one more hit. Um, I'd rather work the copper than 
the hill. So let's go ahead and move these two inside. We're gonna rotate. We're gonna skip a turn. Um, I'm gonna leave these guys right where they are for right now. We're gonna promote who we can promote. Who can we promote? We're definitely gonna promote him because <laughs> we're probably gonna need him in a moment. The cart should survive an attack from both. Then we're gonna have to move the warrior out of the city and then bring the cart in. That's our best scenario. Okay, so here's our other cart. We're gonna go ahead and start moving him down here because he's faster. All right, so I'm gonna have to build the campus. I would like to build some of these other things, but well, we're gonna need the water mill for the pop because we're five of six. So let's go ahead and do that. You're going nowhere. He's staying right where he is. The cart, you're gonna heal. And our settler is still working his way over here. That's good. All right, so let's see what's going to happen now. Okay. So he chose not to go after the cart. Okay. So he stayed uh, steady on the cart. We're going to go ahead and unchain him. Have him work the bananas, because he's got one charge left, I think. Oh, he's got two left. Oh, he's fine up there, though. Because you can see here, this guy's out of the way. you He's going to stay here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade him. That's going to give us some uh, error score. I'm definitely going to go ahead and upgrade these guys. Without a doubt. This is going to this is gonna get Gilgamesh's attention. Okay, we're a little short on money. But we did upgrade the guys that we really needed, like this guy here. And this guy is fine, even though he's guarding the city. We wanted that guy over there to be upgraded in case he comes from this area over here. Worst case scenario, we would have lost three. But we ended up um, doing really well. We came out really well in this. And so I'm kind of glad I was able to share it with you. Because that was scary. <laughs> that could have been real ugly. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna actually go for sailing as opposed to currency because I do want to get a city up here and get our sailing going. But I wanted you guys to definitely see that. So we got three heavy chariots now. We have um, three potential warriors, and we have. All three of our archers. So that means... I'm going to go with... A campus over here. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well... We need 115 to buy it here. Um, I'm, I'm going to wait for that city. Where can we get? Maybe a builder? Maybe a maybe a builder. I think we're going to go with builder for now. We got six turns before we have to change our policy. And okay, so next turn. All right. I'm going to go ahead and peace out with him. I think that's going to be the best thing that we can do. I don't know if we can get any more money out of him. Let's just take a quick look. Nope. So 13. It is then. 13. Um, he's not going to give us any luxuries. And he's not going to give us a city. <laughs> yeah, there was a time where they would do it. But no. He's not going to give us a city. Um, oh. He dropped down the price. Because I started haggling with him. We're going to go ahead and accept that. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you so much for your support. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and make sure that you click on the icon that you see on the screen to subscribe to the channel so you guys can continue to get coverage here on Civilization VI, this casual gameplay segment. You are welcome to share this game with your friends on social media so that they can uh, enjoy some of the Civilization VI gameplay. And I will see you guys in the... Next game.